<clears throat> mic check, mic check. All right. All right. So uh, in this video, uh, this is uh, this is about a fifth try on uh, trying to make a video that's all inclusive of how to manage the LiDAR data in ArcMap. And we had a really cool tool, uh, LAS Tools, a toolbox that you're supposed to be able to install in ArcMap that can do everything with LiDAR data, but it just it will not work on this on this machine, given the new security settings or something's preventing it. So I'm here, uh, we're at our project, and uh, this is the digital elevation model that we had from before. Uh, and then we've decided that we, we have to go uh, LIDAR so we can do, uh, basically get to that point in our, in our own project. So uh, let's go through the whole process of how do we go about getting LIDAR tiles. So we need to go to the uh, Kentucky Geo Portal. And from the Kentucky Geo Portal, we can get a file that is the LIDAR index. LIDAR index. Uh, this is a tiled system that is used to access, to know which LIDAR tiles you need to access. So you'll download that. And I've uh, downloaded already, and I'm working out of a folder uh, called flood that's in my documents and that's where I'm going to save everything. So be sure that you have a current work folder that you're saving everything in. So if we go back to the map here, we want to have a look at this uh, point cloud index that we just downloaded from Kentucky Geo Portal. And we'll just make this hollow here so we can see through it, right? And we'll turn that off so there's no confusion. Um, so what is what is this about? So if you use the identify tool and you click on that tile, you get uh, all the information about that tile, including the year the data was collected, uh, the program it was collected under, and this thing FTP path is the actual web address to access this data. So if we just double click that, it will launch our browser to basically right here so that we can download this file. So we'll download that and it's gonna to go to our downloads. Now, since I downloaded it previously, uh, so there it is starting to download, but remember I moved everything to this folder here. Oh, I like you didn't see that. I like you didn't see that either. Uh, because I have it open. So don't worry about it. But anyway, there's the LAZ file and I uh, got it in the folder. So it's not compressed or it is a type of compression, but it's not in a zip file. All right. Now, ArcMap cannot use directly the LAZ type files. So we need uh, this, this other thing called LAS zip which is a tool out of the LAS tools uh, toolbox. But if you go to here, laszip.org, and you scroll all the way down to where it says binaries, and this laszip.executable is what you're after. So we'll download that, it's very small. And again, we'll go to our downloads, uh, there it is. I'm gonna steal it and go paste it into this folder, which it exists already, which is cool. All right, so now here it is. Go ahead and close all that, all right? All right, so this is a tool that we can execute right here out of this folder. And all we gotta do is double click it and this thing pops up. And it's very easy to use, even it's not, it doesn't look very friendly, but it's, it's very easy. You click on browse and it, it's looking in the directory that you're in and this is it. So you double click that. Let's make sure it appears up here. You can scroll over here to the output about where you want this thing to go directory wise. And uh, from here, you can just select use current. So use the current directory that we are in. Uh, and uh, here you just check the type of output that you want and LAS is it and hit decompress and hit start. There'll be a delay. Uh, computer revs up pretty quick. Uh, starts to write a whole bunch of stuff out and 
let's see if we go back to flood. Boom. There he is, our new LAS file. So that's the LAZ file we downloaded, and it just made us a copy here, dot LAS. All right, great. So now we go back to our arc map. Let's go back and find that flood folder. Flood is there. I'm going to want to refresh it because it's got new stuff in it now. So now when I open it up, there's that LAS file. All right. So there's a tool called Create LAS. First, first tool listed. <clears throat> and all we got to do is browse now to that LAS file that's found in the flood folder where I'm working at. And if I just pass it off, <clears throat> I don't have to give it any parameters any parameters. Now, if I had a whole uh, whole lot of LAS files, I can put them all in this list, and in this one data set, they'll all be included. So if I just hit OK for that, uh, that thing's going to take just a second to run, and there it is. Now, because there's so many points, you got to scroll in before you can really start seeing all the data. <clears throat> So we're far from done, but we are looking at the data. And we'll go ahead and stop the video here. And in the next video, we will uh, continue working to uh, turn this LES file into a terrain data set and then carry on with the analysis that we, that we started a little while back. Well, see you next time.